Hi guys, today I want to discuss on uh, how to calculate intrinsic stacking fault energy with LAMPS code. So here is a perfect crystal and here is a stacking fault I have created by displacing one plane of atoms and this is the orientation of this crystal lattice. Now if you take a perfect crystal you have ABC ABC stacking and for the stacking fault if you see ABC AB and this, this plane if you check this plane the C is changed from C to A so here is the stacking fault so you create a stacking fault by moving one plane from C to A position so in the stacking fault this is the initial uh, separation or the initial uh, or structure of the perfect crystal and these are the xyz of the uh, distance between xyz distances of these two atoms and when you create a stacking fault these two atoms move in this form so these are the final uh, xyz so if you see the y and z positions are in the same places but the x position has changed so you just need to displace in the x direction by this amount and that is nothing but the lattice parameter by the square root of 6. So in the LAMP score, first you give the initial units, boundaries, dimensions and the lattice parameter, you provide them and in the boundary z direction, I give shrink wrap because I displace the upper half of the crystal with respect to, to the lower half to create the stacking fault. I will show it how. So first I will declare the variables. So I give the x how many unit cells in x direction, y direction and in the z direction and I get the length along each direction by multiplying with square root 6 by 2 in x and square root 2 by 2 in y and square root 3 in the z direction. Then I declare the crystal structure. I, so I define the top crystal and the lower crystal. So I define by using the region command. So I give the region. So I go from 0 to x uh, total length and 0 to y total length. And uh, for the top region 1, I give is from 0 to 16.5, which is this half of the z dimension. And for 2, I give from half to the full length of z direction and I define a whole region block so that I can create a box with this whole region so that I get this box you can see this box I can get that for with the region command so we are displacing the bottom with respect to top with respect to bottom by square root or 6 to create the stacking fault and so I have told you the top is first region. So first I create the box with whole region. Then I give the lattice uh, structure of the top region. Uh, so the orientation is this one I have shown before. And the create atoms. I create the atoms one so that I can get a different color. So this is first atom type. And the region is one. And I give the second lattice. Uh, come in and I create atoms 2 for the region 2 so this is the region 2 so the 2 means second atom type has a different color so that we can see the difference and I use paired potential AM and the paired coefficient nickel nickel so that the first atom type and the second atom type are the same nickel nickel and they interact in this fashion so you can see I create the box lattice and then create atoms now I create the compute so the potential energy of each atom is computed and the difference between the perfect and the stacking fault crystal uh, total potential energy will give the stacking fault energy so I use the compute potential per atom. So I will get potential per atom. And I use reduce sum. And I store in this variable. C means compute variable. C underscore per atom. So this is the compute variable. So I reduce the sum of all the atoms. And I store them E of atoms. So this is energy of total number of atoms. 
and then I use thermo one. It outputs thermodynamic steps after each one thermodynamic step, and the thermo style tells which thermo properties you want to output here. You mean the step potential energy and the total energy of the atoms. And now I dump all this uh, in this fashion so that I can have different thumb files for each relaxation step. And these are the X, Y, Z and the potential energy per atom I want to dump in each of them. Now I run zero so that I can have the initial structure which is a perfect crystal. So I can have the initial structure as well so that I can compare with the stacking fault. Now, we store, before uh, displacing, we store the energy of the perfect crystal in a variable so that we can have that and use it later. Now, the group bottom region 1 and group top region 2 and I displace the top with x displace. Uh, so I give I gave that as lattice parameter by square root 6. Now I minimize to start the relaxation. Before the minimization, I set the force uh, of all the atoms as 0, 0 and null. So I freeze the atoms in x1 y directions. I just display the atoms in x directions. And now I freeze the atoms in x and y direction and allow the uh, free movement of atoms. So null means you give free movement of atoms in the z direction. So again we store the energy of atoms after the relaxation. So I store in EF variable so that after displacement and relaxation in EF variable that will give the stacking fault uh, energy. And this area is nothing but the area of the uh, plane. So this is xy plane. So I take the xy plane and I multiply with 10 power minus 20 to get Armstrong square. And this is a conversion factor. So I get the stacking fault energy by using this formula. So now I give the whole lamp script first to define units, dimension, boundaries and the variables. Then after giving the lens, you define the crystal structure, give the lattice, top region and bottom region and the whole box. So you create the box with hole and the atoms with the top region and the bottom region too. Now I give the AM potential and I define the potential energy per atom and I dump the files and I store the initial energy in E0 and now I group and displace the top region top group and I relax and then give the variable definitions. Now I run the script. After running the script you will see the stagnant fault energy in millijoules per meter square. So I take the dump file and open in Ovito. I do common neighbor analysis and I select I select two atoms go to particles select two atoms on one stacking plane and another stacking plane and I go to the previous step you can see that how the atoms are moved. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like the content, please click on the like button and subscribe to our channel.